Ahí no fue. All right, thank you everyone for joining us. We're going to get started in a few minutes. So the run of show will be that we'll go through remarks, some brief remarks, and take some questions, any questions that you have, and then we'll have one final performance following uh, the remarks. So if you want to stick around and get some footage of that and some photos of that, you can as well. Um, okay. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the Commissioner of the New York City Department of Transportation, Yudonis Rodriguez. Thank you, Beans. I would like to ask all the partners to please join us. If anyone is back here, that you are one of those partners, uh, uh, come and join us. Uh, First of all, thank you to all the great performance that we have. Uh, today is a great day, and we need to take what we got from Mother Earth. So we got raining, we need to enjoy the raining. Uh, uh, you know, like, there is a, a, a sculpture that we have in Fort Tryon Park at the back of the museum. We talk about how human beings have been the most invasive species to our planet. So there's a lot that we got from Mother Earth, but also there's a lot on how we do that unfortunately hurt our planet. So uh, again, thank you everyone. I want to, Tom, is Tom here? Yeah. Let me get Tom here too. Uh, Ken also, all the partners here. Barbara, yeah, let's be sure that all our partners uh, are here close to us. Uh, I would like to thank uh, our performance, uh, all of them, for the great job that they did it. Let's give them a big round of applause. Un aplauso a todos los que tuvieron performance. As many people know, Car Free Day, Car Free Earth Day holds a very special place in my heart. Uh, as a council member back in 2016, I was joined by many Northern Manhattan community-based organizations to launch a series of free or car-free streets for the occasion of celebrating Earth Day that is celebrated worldwide April 22nd. That's when we celebrate our Earth Day. We got many partners at that time, and we figured out on how working together in New York City could not be behind of so many a, a celebration. On Saturday, April 20th, we will be celebrating the largest open street car-free Earth Day celebration to date. <laughs> this spring, DOT will be hosting seven signature DOT produced events throughout the city, in addition to 46 car-free events produced by community organization in the streets and plaza. This signature will take place on streets across the five boroughs including on Broadway, in Manhattan, time from the Times Square lines from here to Union Square. We will be using our street to reimagine how people can use our street not only for cars, but also for art, for wellness, for yoga, for performance. So this is going to be a great day. This signature event will not only be taking, will be talk, taking place here, but also at Fifth Avenue, in Brooklyn, Woodside Avenue in Queens, East 188 Streets in the Bronx, and Port Richmond Avenue in Staten Island. <laughs> we are also adding an addition hour for Car Free Day. So those who have been asking why you cannot span Car Free Day in 2024 under the leadership of Mayor Eric Adams and all of us, Car Free Day being extending one additional hour. 
So a performance will be happening up to 4 p.m. on Saturday, April 20. It, we have more information in all Car Free Earth Day location on our website, nyc.gov, Car Free NYC. This year, Car Free Earth Day will also kick off our 2024 Open Streets and Public Spaces programming season. A full list, a full list this year, Open Street location will be released closer to Earth Day. We expect hundreds of Open Street locations. Last year, we did 236. So definitely, the team led by Emily and Kyle and the rest on up public street, they are responsible to overpass those 236 open street. So let's give it a bit of an applause for the great job that they do. No pressure at all, okay? <laughs> Cafe Day is about celebrating Mother Earth. We encourage all New Yorkers on this day and as many days as possible to leave their vehicles at home and up to more sustainable mode of transportation like transit, biking, or walking. I'd like to give a special thanks to everyone at DOT who has helped make this possible, including Tomas Garita, Kenny Placencio, Leon Hayward, Matt Cavallino, Claudette Walkman, and Lawrence Moses. I also like to thank and congratulate the artists selected to participate in Car Free Earth Day this year. Some of them are standing with us today. Amanda, Truck, Ray, Wonder, Jeffrey, Natalie Wood, and Liu Baba, and, and Crow. We are also excited to have Chakaya Booker, Booker join us. Her work, shave portions, will be installed along Broadway in time for Car Free Earth Day, reimagining through the full thanks to our partnership with Garment Dishes Alliance. Again, let's be ready to celebrate a great day on Saturday, April 20, on a car-free day, the larger one. Thanks to the leadership of Mayor Eric Adams, car-free day and summer street been going big. But now I want to also say if you are in Spanish, hoy estamos aquí lanzando, anunciando el car-free day que tomará lugar el 20 de abril, un día donde le damos el respeto a la Madre Tierra, por todo lo que ella significa para nosotros, un día donde llamamos que las personas les den un break a los carros que caminen, que monten en bicicleta, que disfruten en Broadway desde Times Square hasta Union Square, que vayan a Washington Heights, San Nicolas Avenue, desde 181, 190, Dykeman from Broadway to La Marina, Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx, across the five boroughs. Vamos a estar celebrando lo que es El día sin carro. Gracias al equipo de DOT nos imaginamos todos los días bajo el alcalde Rick Adams cómo nosotros podemos seguir haciendo de las calles de Nueva York un lugar donde sirva para todo. Además de que las personas tienen un carro, también las calles deben ser utilizadas para que las personas puedan eh, 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 usarla para caminar, para hacer arte, para hacer música. Démosle gracias a todos los participantes, el equipo completo de nosotros. Y ahora, now let's hear from someone that is holding the largest bike tour in the nation and the second largest bike tour in the world, Ken Baxiba, who not only bring thousands and thousands of cyclists on May 5th to ride the bike across the five borough, but also he put the money on equity. He also uh, worked with those who came from the Rikers Island, giving them a second chance, teaching them how to be a mechanic, bringing them to back to work as a union job. So with you, let me uh, give call uh, Ken Baxiba, CEO of Bike New York. Thank you, Commissioner. So I was, I was at the launch of Car Free Earth Day in 2016, and... Back then, there was just a few streets on Broadway in the Flatiron District, a few streets in Washington Heights, and a few streets at NYU. And we're calling it Car Free Day. And members of the press were kind of chuckling, like, really? Is this Car Free Day? And now, look at us now. 
We have 54 streets and plazas, a 57% increase over last year. It is really car-free, and I knew it was going to grow. All five boroughs, I knew it was going to grow because of this man next to me, Adonis Rodriguez. And it helps that he's the transportation commissioner, but even if he wasn't, when this man wants to get things done, he gets it done. He's not a talker, he's a doer. So I want to first congratulate him for getting this all done. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. And we're one of the 48 partners at Bike New York, and we'll be teaching children how to ride bikes in Washington Heights. So if you know any kids, if you're a parent or a guardian, bring your kids to St. Nicholas Avenue between 181st and 190th Street on Car Free Day. We'll teach them all how to ride. Thank you very much, and it's going to be a beautiful day on April 22nd. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. And if there's any adults here that used to ride bike, but we were told that bike was only for poor people, and we gave up the bike, and the car became a symbol of progress. Bike New York, they also have a program that they teach adults how to ride a bike. When you bike, it's good for your economy. You save money. It's good for your environment. And if you bike half an hour every day, you will stay in six years to your life. So walking and biking is not a luxury. It's not a privilege. It's good for our health. It's good for environments. It's good to preserve our planet. So now with that, let's call the, another great friend, Tom, who is the one. Yes, imagine being here. Before Bloomberg's in Janet were a transportation in the major New York City. It was car going through this area. This was the first plaza in New York City. And after this plaza, we have built almost 100 plaza. And we are looking at those open street as a pipeline to build plaza through those uh, open street that we have. So let's hear from someone who is in charge to run Times Square Plaza, Tom Harris. All right, Tom. Thank you very much, Commissioner. And I'm glad you brought that up. Times Square welcomes over 300,000 people a day. And prior to 2009, we welcomed those 300,000 people, and 33% of the space was for the pedestrians, and 67% of the space was for the cars. Thanks to the vision of the Department of Transportation and Commissioner Rodriguez, we have flipped that, and now 67% of the space is for pedestrians, and 33% is for the cars. So thank you very much, thank Commissioner you. Rodriguez and DOT, for doing that. So welcome to Times Square. We're thrilled to be here for the announcement of Car Free Earth Day throughout New York City on April 20th, organized by the New York City Department of Transportation. We have been involved in Car Free Day since 2016, spelling out Car Free and the year 24 that you'll see over, over your shoulder. This year, we're thrilled to host our third annual Broadway Celebrates Earth Day on our stage just south of here alongside our great partners at the Broadway Green Alliance. Join us April 20th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. for performances by Broadway stars and young activists throughout the day. Broadway in Times Square has been, in been car-free since 2009, and has been, it has been a great journey thanks to the fantastic vision and partnership of the Department of Transportation. Thank you, everyone at DOT, who made this possible, and special thanks to Commissioner Rodriguez. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. New York City has a SAR that is inside an agency pushing everyone to go electric, to think about sustainability. So I want also to call Keith from DCAS, who is someone that is pushing all of us. They're the one who manages all the fleet in New York City for all to go electric, for all to look at sustainability. Thank you. thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner Rodriguez. And thank you all for hanging out on this rainy day. Remember, the rain is just nature reminding us that it will not be denied or ignored, and we have to do everything we can to um, make this a more sustainable city and a sustainable place for all of us. I want to thank Commissioner Rodriguez, who I've worked with for a long time. I can tell you that in front of the camera and behind the scenes, he is pushing for sustainability, for safe fleets, pushing to make progress out in our roadways every single day. I want to thank our Commissioner Don Pinnock, the Commissioner of the Department of Citywide Administrative Services. I'm Keith Kerman. I'm the Chief Fleet Officer. I'm not sure I could ever get to a point where there was a car-free fleet because it's kind of a contradiction, but I will tell you, under Mayor Adams, we've reduced 
1,100 city vehicles. So the safest and the most sustainable vehicle is one you do not operate. And so we've reduced the fleet 1,100 under this mayor, 2,000 since 2019. We'll continue, continue to do our part to have as few as vehicles as possible and then to make sure, as the commissioner said, that those we do have are operating at low emissions, zero emissions, electric wherever possible. We're now at 5,000 electric vehicles, 2,000 chargers, the biggest networks in New York State, and as safe as possible. Um, I come out of the New York City Parks Department, spent 17 years there. So every time there's an opportunity for our streets to look a little bit more like our parks, I love that. I want to thank Commissioner Rodriguez, thank all of you, and look forward to a great uh, car-free day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. And everything is local. So car-free day started in Inwood in Washington night. In front of my office when I started being a council member, when I was a council member, it was only two blocks in Washington at that time. But now in Washington night in Inwood, we're doing car-free day at San Nicolas Avenue from 181st to 190, Dykeman from Broadway to La Marina. So I also want to call someone that in the next few days, I'm going to be asking him to help us to increase the activation day, Isidro Medina, the second director of the 181st bit. Thank you uh, so much, uh, Commissioner Rodriguez. Back in 2016, it was only a dream to make this happen. However, with uh, the effort and tenacity of our commissioner back then, uh, our council member, we made it happen. The Washington Heights bid uh, was one of those uh, local stakeholders that uh, open up the door to make this a possibility. It is uh, interesting to know that we would not have been on the spotlight if it was not for his commitment. Also for a community of need that often has been neglected on environmental justice, I'm really happy to announce that we will be there once again for the commissioner and the city of New York. We would like to invite you to come. It's a great neighborhood. It's a great community. We will have a lot of events both life, entertainments, and also uh, arts and craft. So we're looking forward to seeing you all there. Thank you so much, Commissioner, once again. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Cidro. And those artists in New York City, I invite our art team from Kyle to a, a Anjali to be here because I also want for you to know who they are, their faces. So there's opportunity, you know, to use paper, to, do, to use piece of art because they, they will present great opportunity for everyone that wants to use the whole Saturday, you know, from 9 in the morning to 4 p.m., come to the street, turn the paper into flower, you know, bring an old chair, whatever you have in your house that you can feel, that it can be reimagined as a piece of art. The opportunity is there, too. So, again, Angeli and Kai, they, both of them, they're back there, and... and Thank you for your work. But now let's hear someone who is another great partner from the Garment District Alliance President, Barbara Bray, great partner on Carfree Day, and across, you know, along the 365 days a, a year, she's also working with us. Barbara. Yes. Thank, you, Thank you very much, Commissioner. And I just want to uh, uh, add to what you said. The Garment District views these plazas as canvases for art. And we're going to be celebrating this Car Free Earth Day with a very, very important monumental artwork by Chakaya Booker, who is a world-renowned artist, has 40 uh, public realm spaces that feature her art, and they're inspiring. They're all made out of recycled tires. So please make part of your Earth Day, Car Free Earth Day, walking down to the Garment District is just three or four blocks south, and seeing Chakaya Booker's monumental and ex inspiring artwork. I just want to add one thing about Chakaya. We've been working with Chakaya for many years now. I, I, I don't know how many, but thank you very much, Jerry, for many years. And Chakaya is a sculptress. And I was told that every morning she wakes up and looks in the mirror and says, what can I do, how can I wear my sculpture today? And here she is featuring one of her fantastic and daily pieces. So please join us on Broadway's Canvas for Art and celebrate Chakaya. Thank you. So now let's hear, let's hear from Chakaya Booker to come and say a few words to us too. Well, 
Thank you so much for coming out. And uh, at this moment, the piece is in St. Louis and being deinstalled. And we'll be here on Friday. And Friday night, we'll start doing the installation. So if you're up in the middle of the night, definitely just walk by, take a look, take a picture, and say hello. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Just give me one second. Now let's hear from Wendell Jeffrey, CFED artist. Hi. Hi. I just want to say that we have the wherewithal to save what needs to be done. And please come and see our parade. We're doing a kelp forest, and we'd love to see you all there. Thank you. A say Clem Clemner a, a Robert Blackburn Prince Shop. So I want to call our brother from the open plan, open street planner to come in. Open, plan. open plan. They're a great partner, you know, reminding us about how to be created, reimagining our public space, building more open street. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jackson Chabot. I'm the Director of Advocacy and Organizing. This is uh, off the script uh, impromptu, but here we go as is. Uh, you know, I really appreciate the Commissioner highlighting here the expansion especially. We talk about equity, as Ken mentioned earlier, and at the origins it was small. And here we are today with an expansion, and an expansion that touches neighborhoods across the five boroughs. And so I just really want to highlight that expansion and really commend the agency and the Commissioner for a keen eye as a North Star on ensuring that neighborhoods across the city in whatever form that they look like have access to this program, have access to things like summer streets, and continue to do that as the North Star, especially as the Commissioner mentioned, building on the Open Streets program like some of the colleagues are here today and seeing how this can be a pipeline as we create these permanent car-free spaces. So using this as both the example on the day of as well as the North Star to work backwards from. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Now let's hear from the Union Square Partnership, Julie, to come in and say a few words. Uh, thank you so much to the Commissioner. I'm Julie Stein. I'm the Executive Director of the Union Square Partnership. Union Square is the preeminent live, work, play neighborhood in New York City, and we are so excited about the catalytic investments that DOT is making in the public realm in and around Union Square, bringing the Broadway vision all the way down to 17th Street this spring. Car Free Earth Day on April 20th will be the first opportunity to see this brand new plaza space truly in its full glory. So please join us on, on, 17, on Broadway between 17th Street and 18th Street for a day of music. We'll have three bands there, jazz, brass band, as well as some drumming really excited for you to join us and celebrate all of the work that the DOT team is doing to make this public space really great and, uh, and on this day as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. There's so many great partners here again, it, it, but I also want to call now someone, Mohammed, from the Muslim community, and for him to talk about how they're going to be pushing car free day in the community because the same thing that they're doing it, is what we want all of us to do from here to April 20 to spread the voice, to express through social media, you know, how everyone should, are invited to be part of the Car Free Day. Mohammed. Thank you so much, the Commissioner, to invite us. On behalf of one million Muslims in New York State and more than 437 mosques, I am like the Imam Mohammed Shahidullah. We support and we help to success this event, all the five boroughs, and this is like the blessing time, this Ramadan Mubarak, and the blessing for like the rain. Hopefully, April 28th will be good. We pray for everyone, and even will be success. And thank you so much, duty, uh, to organize this such a noble program. Thank you so much. Save art, save God bless us. I want to thank Clear, uh, thanks Clear Channel. Channel, as you can see the billboard, you know, been there from 12, I haven't seen it yet, but I know it's there from 12 to 1 p.m. That's how everyone do their part. You know, like, so this is, again, a great day for New York City. Everyone is looking around what we do in the city. Sandy, Maria, Katrina, Florin, Florin in New York City, 
Guys, we cannot wait for a new natural disaster to come and hit us and see family members, loved ones losing their life because we didn't take action. So this is not just one day or arts and music and entertainment and hope and wellness, you know. It's not about, yes, biking the street. It's about taking responsibility to save our planet. So hoy estamos aquí cerrando lo que es este momento donde le damos la gracia a Clear Channel por también promoverlo en el Billboard por una hora que se está mostrando. Pedimos acciones de todo. No podemos esperar que llegue María, Sandy, Katrina, inundación en Nueva York, para nosotros pensar qué pudimos hacer para salvar la vida. Como dice el libro de los niños, as the little book for children say, the planet is in danger. El planeta está en peligro y tenemos que tomar acciones para salvarlo. So thank you to all the partners. I couldn't call everyone because we have more than 100 partners. Thanks to all of you. Gracias, eh, CSN. You know, eh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Tomás. Have a great day, everyone. And of course, a very special thanks to Wasserman, who is our uh, event planning agency, and they do tremendous work to make this event possible. As the commissioner said, there's so many different partners that we can't call them all. Uh, we've been working with them very closely. We have Michelle Minguez, who's our programming consultant and who's been working tremendously hard to connect with every single New Yorker in every single neighborhood and every single organization. If you're a programming partner and you still want to connect with us and you still want to join us, there's still time. We're running out of time because we're very packed, but we still want to accommodate and include you because, as the commissioner said, April 20th, Saturday, April 20th, Car Free Earth Day is going to be the most important event between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. So thank you, everybody, for coming. And, um, and we're going to close it off with a, with a 